Uh, nightmarish images into us this morning from a disaster in Yemen. At least 78 people are dead, all of these victims trapped in a crowd that was lined up for aid in the capital. Here's some of the video showing hundreds of people caught in the deadly crush. Officials say this happened at an event meant to show charity and religious devotion to mark the final days of Ramadan. Abi Kugadasi tells us what happened. Local merchants had organized this event at a school in the old city in the center of the capital, Sana'a, to hand out donations, which came out to be about $12 per person, a significant amount for the people there. And hundreds of people, including women and children, showed up. Houthi forces were there as well. This is the rebel group that has controlled the capital city since 2015. They reportedly fired into the air to help better control the large crowd. But witnesses say the shots struck an electric electrical wire, which led to an explosion that led to panic and the subsequent stampede. We also have video of the immediate aftermath of that crush. There are bloodstained steps. Someone needed crutches to walk. You see that lone crutch there atop a large pile of scattered shoes, really showing how many people were there. And Houthi rebel officials say that dozens of people are dead. Dozens more are injured. Heather. Has there been any response, Abby, from Houthi rebel officials to this? Yeah, they say they've detained two of the organizers of this event. The Houthi Interior Ministry says there was little coordination with their officials ahead of this planned event. And we have seen some officials, including the leader of the Houthi-controlled administration, visit a hospital and meet with some of the injured. And the leadership blames the existing humanitarian crisis for this incident. The United Nations, as we know, has called this one of the largest humanitarian crises in the world, almost three-quarters of of the people in Yemen rely on some kind of aid. That's about 23 million people. It's the poorest state in the Arabian Peninsula, devastated by this ongoing civil war that's not only divided the country, but also damaged infrastructure and deeply hampered the country's economy. And so local events to hand out aid like this is not very uncommon. And of course, just before an Eid, days before Eid, hundreds of people went to the school in hopes of getting some help. But dozens of them, Heather, never made it back. Back home. Abby Kugathasin in London. Tens of thousands of people have died during the eight year conflict in Yemen. Truce talks collapsed last fall, but recent negotiations between those Houthi rebels and the Saudi led coalition is raising new hope for a ceasefire.